hirap pa yun ng tripod ko. Ako lang ba? Or... Huwag nyo to, tong part na to, ibig sabihin, hindi pa rin maayos yung tripod ko. Hi guys! Welcome to another vlog. So, if makita nyo yung title and nanonood kayo, yes, nabudol ako ng Shopee. And I will share to you guys my first ever try-on haul. Ayun, if magtataka kayo kung bakit ganito yung setup ko, um, bakit pataas, bakit nandito ako sa bedroom, bakit yung nostrils ko nakita nyo, dahil wala akong table ngayon, may gumagamit, at may maingay sa baba, and I don't know why I'm explaining, but I think I have to. So, please bear with my setup right now, and I hope this video becomes informative. So, ayun nga, nung before pa mag-GCQ, nag-check ako sa Shopee tapos nakita ko ng mga around 50 pesos na mga damit. So, tiningnan ko. May mga disclaimer ako from friends, cousins na sinasabi na huwag mo itryan kasi baka hindi magkasya sa'yo. Usually kasi yung mga ganong price daw is free size and yung free size nila is super liit. Pero knowing me, I'm impulsive and dahil gamitin ko din naman sa work, dahil kailangan ko Ayun, nag-add to cart, add to cart, add to cart ako until I was able to accumulate a couple, a couple of blouses which I will share to you in this video. Bumili ako sa iba't ibang seller and ilalagay ko sa description box kung sino-sino sila. I will link it down including the prices. And on this video, we will see if Boodle Worthy, BW, or NA, not again, yung mga purchases ko. So, siguro guys, by now, marami na kayo nakita ang Shopee try on haul for the prices that I got. But, I believe that different videos and different content will enable all the viewers to learn different things. So, for example, one vlogger na nag-try ng mga nabili ko, she might be a little bit more slimmer than I am. Maybe, um, viewers, like, viewers who have the same body type as I am could relate more to me and I can help them out in purchasing something that is as affordable as 50 to 65 pesos. Let's try the first store which is Abubot PH. Yung una kong binili from them is this one. It's a halter top. So, ang tawag dito ay Kylie halter top. Well, it's not really me na bumili ng maraming halter top tapos crop top pa. But since it is priced at 65 pesos, binili ko na siya. And pinili ko yung black kasi it's a basic color and pwede siya i-pair sa kahit saan. This one, this is the Selena Gingham dress. Ito daw yung bestseller nila. So, very picnic realness siya. If you can see, dahil medyo plod siya. So, dahil easy cue at hindi kayo makapunta sa picnic, if your body cannot come to the picnic, then the picnic will come to your body. Okay. Parang walang sense yung sinabi ko. So, anyway, ito, this one is body hugging and it's a bit short so if I were you I would recommend na magsuot kayo ng cycling shorts underneath this one para sure and you can wear this on its own pero if you are conscious or something you can you can pair it with a plain top next item is the Catherine sleeveless turtleneck Catherine as in literal na si Catherine Bernardo yung image model nila. So, this is priced at 59 pesos each and before, sabi nila it's around 199 pesos. So, bumili ako ng dalawa. I bought it in beige. See here. And dark blue. So, nung tinry ko siya, nagkaroon ako ng struggle sa pagsuot ng head ko sa hole kasi medyo masikip siya. So, para akong pinanganak na baby nung after ko na siya masukot. Pero after that, 
comfortable naman siya and it's a bit body hugging. So, I would advise na magsuot kayo ng seamless na bra if magsasuot kayo ng ganito. So, it would look seamless. So, it would look smooth and more presentable. So, this can be paired with high-waisted shorts, high-waisted pants. You can wear a blazer with it. This item that I ordered from Abubat PH was supposedly the Sara Sexy V-Cut Crop Top. So, ganito dapat yung itsura niya. Ayan. Kita ba? Ganyan siya. So, plain V-neck crop top. Price at 55 pesos each. But for some reason, they sent me this one. This one. In maroon. And this one. In black. Well, wala naman akong complain with being sent these. Kasi masusuot ko naman siya. And okay naman yung quality. Pero I would appreciate it more if um, the seller contacted me or notified me beforehand na i-change nila yung delivery nila sa akin and iba yung item na may receive ko. Next is the Button Crop Top Cotton Knit. Price at 73 pesos. Binili ko siya in basic color which is white. May mga button design siya sa center. And naka-glue stick lang siya, guys. You can see here. So, hindi siya nakatahi. So, may chance na matanggal siya. Ayun. So, hanap na lang kayo ng button. Let's replace it with. In my opinion, this one goes well with high-waisted bottoms, pants, shorts. Kasi, if hindi kayo comfy na nakakita yung belly button nyo, yung pungsod nyo, um, this will not be the top for you kung wala kayong high-waisted bottoms. But if you have one, okay na okay siya. Move on na tayo sa next shop, which is R. Makandog. So, bumili ako ng four items sa kanila. So, the first one is expected. And this is Reality. So close, very very close. The cleavage part is there. But if you would see, once I try it on, hindi naman siya ganon kababa. So I bought it in white and more there ako ng black one. Pero ito yung color na sinet nila sa akin. Okay lang naman, baby wala silang stock. Pero yun nga, ulit sana nag-notify sila. Yung tela niya, um, para siya yung sa leotard. Hindi ko sure midway siya ng manipis and makapal. If I'm making sense. Um, so, I would advise again to wear a seamless bra underneath this para smooth siya. And so, basic naman siya. I would wear this with pants and with high waisted shorts. The next product I bought from Armakan Dog is the Gazini V-neck knitted blouse. So, binili ko siya in skin tone. So, ito yung itsura niya. This one. Okay. And, ito yung dumating sa akin. So, skin tone naman siya. And, nung sinukat ko siya, okay naman siya sa body. Yun nga lang, medyo masikip ng konti kasi nga free size siya and then yung free size nila it's more on the smaller side so naging challenge for me would be at the chest area pero carry naman um, nasuot ko naman siya and comfortable enough naman siya yun lang hindi ako sure kung gaano katagal maglalas yung fabric and nakakatawa kasi I only bought one and then she sent me two so thank you thank you miss or Mr. R. Makandog. Pero, yung second one, may maliit siya na hole. Ayan, may maliit siya na butas. Ayan, yung extra niya. 
So, pwede naman siyang tahiin or something. And, wala naman ako makakomplain since I got what I pay for, which is 55 pesos lang. And I think masusuot ko naman siya a couple of times kung mag-work from home, or mall, or pupuntahan ko yung friends ko. Ayan nga, dahil bumili ako ng isang paterbang crop top, kailangan ko din bumili ng high-waisted shorts. Dahil ina-emphasize mo na, ba? High-waisted shorts is key if you are wearing a crop top. So, I bought this one in black. Um, I got it in size 28 and the product code is 515. So, it's called a stretchable high-waist short. So, medyo stretchable nga yung fabric. And medyo matibay naman siya. Yun nga lang medyo flimsy yung zipper. Yan. Hindi siya smooth. Ganyan. So, kailangan mo siyang hilain straight to make sure na mazizip up mo siya ng maayos. So, ang price niya is 159 pesos plus 40 pesos na shipping fee. Ang binayaran ko is 199 pesos. And, and bumili din pala ako ng couple of accessories. So, itong sinusuot ko right now, this headband na coincidentally, kakulay nitong top ko, pero hindi ko yun sinadya. Um, wala relation at all. And I bought this one. Ayan, nagulo na naman. Bangs ko. Kasi gusto ko yung design niya. Medyo may similar design siya with a luxurious brand that I don't have. And wala lang. So, I can accessorize and do something with my hair every once in a while. And this one costs the Europe and America V-Stripe Ribbon Headband Korean White Brim Knotted Hairband. Haba. Ayan. Ganyan yung itsura niya. So, expectation versus reality na kuha ko naman kung ano yung in-order. Ilig ako mag-skincare. Binili ko to from the same shop. Ayan. Cute siya, diba? Yun. Garterize siya. Fluffy. May ribbon. Ribbon eme. May hanash na ribbon dyan. Tapos, ito may parang jewel siya or brooch or something. And the same print siya with the headband that I bought. Ayan. Match. Matchy, matchy. Ayan. This one cost 50 pesos. So, mas mahal siya than this headband. So, so far naman, okay siya. Nagamit ko siya when I sleep and pag nag skincare ako. And I will show kung paano ko siyang ginagamit. If we, if we do skincare, dapat all the hair is out of your face. So, ayan. Ayan siya. Next accessory is a frosted hair clip ornament. Color cross hair pin. So, bumili ako ng 6 at 8 pesos each. So, dito siya. So, may bungi-bungi kasi nagamit ko na yung iba. So, gamitin ko to dahil may bangs ako. So, may times na I need to clip them. Ayan, ganyan. Ayan, can you see? So, different shades of pink nga lang yung nakuha ko. Pero, no problem with that. Ayan. Yung nga lang yung thing, no? With, with people na may bangs. May papabangs, tapos gusto i-clip. Ayan, katulad ko. The last type of accessories na binili ko from the same shop are... False nails. Ayan. So, ito yung matte type. Price at 65 pesos each box. And then, itong may glitters. Yung medyo frosted. Price at 45 pesos each. Now, hindi ko siya mare-review dahil hindi ko pa siya natatry. Dahil medyo busy ako. But for the price, it's affordable. Hindi ko lang sure sa quality. Pero if you would check yung reviews sa seller, mataas naman yung reviews niya and mostly are positive. So, you can try out BUP. B-U-U-P-P. So, i-link ka naman siya sa description box and pwede niyo i-check out yung shop niya. So far naman sa mga nabili ko na damit na around 55 to 65 to 70 pesos, 
I am quite satisfied with the quality that I got. Yun nga, sinasabi nila na you get what you pay for. And ang receive ko, compared to kung ano yung inexpect ko, it is much better. Much better than what I envisioned it to be. So, I would probably purchase again next time. Papabudol ako ulit. But for now, ito muna yung susuotin ko while I work from home. And I think ako yung isa sa mga maswerte na nag-purchase ng ganitong price range. Kasi from the other reviews na nabasa ko, hindi sila satisfied. Ayaw nila and sinasabi na never again. Hindi na ako ulit. And parang sumugal lang ako. Sinabi ko ng sarili ko na hmm, 55 pesos lang naman. So, try ko na rin. Kasi baka naman pagdating sa akin, masatisfy ako. Which is true. True, true naman. And I would definitely wear the stuff that I bought outside the house. That's all. That's the end of my Shopee try-on haul. So, sana nagustuhan nyo yung mga products na pinakita ko and maybe you can try to purchase them too. And I hope I, you guys were able to relate somehow. And I hope to see you guys on my next vlog. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!